Hello everybody and welcome to Skirt Garage. My name is Connor and I'm excited to have you on the channel today because today I'm gonna to be showing you guys exactly what to buy and how to apply tail light tint onto your Jaguar F-Type. And this is a video that's been a long time coming. You know, I think I actually installed tail light tint within about one month of owning my personal F-Type. In today's video, I'm gonna be wrapping a friend of mine's car. And so I'm glad that I get the chance to do so because this is one of those modifications that very easy to do it, uh, very cost effective. It's only like 50 or $60. And once you learn how to do this skill, you can pretty much do it on any car, anytime. So I'm excited to show you guys what to use and how to use it. So with that, let's get this video started. And again, guys, don't forget, give this video a big old thumbs up and a positive comment if you find it helpful and if you plan to use this when wrapping your F-Type. So with that, let's get started. Okay guys, we're back. And what I quickly want to talk about before I jump into the DIY is what product to use. Now, I've actually wrapped the last three or four cars uh, that I've had. I've wrapped their headlights and taillights and I've tried different things. And I think the very first time I did it, I used a product called Vivid and it was on Amazon, highly rated, uh, a lot of reviews. So I wanted to try it out and I could not get it to work. Or if I did get it to work, it was after two or three attempts and it would bubble up and it just kind of drove me crazy. And I'm lucky and I have a friend who works in a uh, wrapping shop. You know, they do vinyl wraps and headlights and taillights and window tint. And so I reached out to him and said, hey man, can you give me some pointers? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And he said, well, first things first, what product are you using? And I told him it was, you know, that one that was on Amazon, the most common one. And he said, that's probably what your issue is. Go ahead and try this. This is what we use here in our shop. And the brand was called Lux. And so I bought it and at the time it wasn't anything like very popular on Amazon. I don't think they really had that many reviews and it definitely wasn't prime so I, because I had to wait for it for like a week or two. But guys, I swear to you, it is like five times easier than the other very popular vivid one. I, I that got in the mail, it came already with like alcohol prep spray, a knife, um, like one of those squeegee things to get the uh, air bubbles out. And it took me one attempt and way less time because the tint was just a lot more user friendly. You know, it was very easy to get the bubbles out, it laid over and it really had a nice um, adhesive on the back of it. I didn't have to redo it like tons of times. So I can't recommend this product enough. I will leave the link in the description box below if you guys wanna check it out and if you guys wanna use it. If not, the DIY video that I will have will work for any tint. Um, I just think that this one that I'm telling you guys is gonna make your life a lot easier. Um, but I do have to be honest, I've only used a couple different types, so there could be one better than the one I have, I, I don't know. But yeah, that, that's really about it. You know, the job takes anywhere between 45 minutes to two hours. Uh, I like to go slow on these types of jobs, especially when you're using a knife near uh, paint. So I think it took me about an hour and a half the first time I did it and about the same the second time I did it, just because it's not something that you really want to rush too much. Um, and with that, you know, that's it. Uh, I think I might have already mentioned this, but the cost is pretty cheap. It's 50 to $60 to get this done. And I think it looks amazing. Uh, the product that I used, it lasted the full year on my car. And so if you do plan to uh, put this on your car, I don't think that you should have any problem with it not lasting very long. So with that, let's jump into the DIY portion of this video. Okay, this is everything that comes with the kit. You've got a nice little microfiber towel some alcohol prep spray, which is very important, a squeegee, and of course, you need the tint itself. Okay, now grab that alcohol prep spray and go ahead and try your very hardest to clean the entire tail light as best as you can. You want it free of any dust, debris, or really any dirt at all, because any of that will obviously affect the way that the tint will adhere to the tail light. Uh, the devil's really in the details here. So you can see that I'm using a little instrument and I'm 
uh, trying to clean out the inside of where the tail light meets the, the bumper. And I'm using that alcohol prep spray because this uh, tint itself will actually be pushed into that crevice, into those cracks around the tail light. So that also needs to be very clean. I would also recommend that you clean about two to four inches around the tail light as well so that the tape can adhere very well also. Okay, now that the tail light is all nice and clean, grab some painter's tape, or I have here some delicate tape. I can put a link in the description. But basically, just tape all the way around it. It helps you give a reference point when the tint is over the tail light. It also helps that when you're cutting the tint, you don't accidentally nick any of the paint. Now I'm gonna slow this part down because it's really important. Uh, around any difficult area, try to wedge the tape down into the crevice first and then kind of mat it down uh, because that's just gonna help you in those difficult areas when you're trying to cut. It'll make sure that you can protect your paint around your bumper and it just makes the whole job just that much easier. So try to wedge it in there and then paste it down. All right guys, here's the fun part. What we're gonna be doing is really just mocking up this tail light tint. Make sure you give yourself plenty of room. Uh, I took a measuring tape, I measured it, and then I gave myself about two to three inches top and bottom, and then another two or three inches um, for each side of the tail light, just to make sure that if we are um, making any errors, having a little bit extra tint does help you avoid having to redo anything. I've done this job a couple times now, and I have noticed that if you start from the outside of the tail light, where it's nice and skinny over there, and you work yourself towards the trunk of the car, it's just a lot easier. When getting started on this job, I like to lay the tint over the tape and the tail light itself, press right smack dab in the middle of the tail light, get the surface kind of started, and then what I'll do is I'll pull up on the top and bottom of the tail light itself, and then I'll kind of squeegee with my hand or with the squeegee, and I'll push the cracks and crevices in with my finger and try to evacuate all the air that's in the tail light tint at the moment. At this point, make sure to always check your angulation. You don't wanna get halfway done with the job only to realize that the tail light tint itself is not gonna work for um, your angulation. You have to redo the entire thing. So make sure you're constantly checking your angulation. And as you can see what I'm doing right here, kind of pulling from the top and bottom and I'm squeegeeing it uh, all the way up into the cracks and crevices. Okay, at this point, you might be able to tell that I'm kind of struggling a little bit rounding the corner with this tint. So what I ended up doing was cutting um, two little cuts to help the tint kind of mold and take that corner just a little bit easier. Be careful when doing this though, because I have done this before and the cuts have worked themselves onto the tail light and I've had to redo it. So only do it if you have to and if you do end up making some cuts to help it turn the corner a little bit easier, just make sure that uh, they're not all the way down onto the tail light itself. And beyond that guys, it's really pretty simple. Just uh, work it down into each crack and crevice. Make sure you can try to work out any air pockets or voids that could be created when doing this job. And that pretty much does it for the actual wrapping itself. All right, now it is time to trim the remainder of the tint that will not be used. Now this part probably seems like it's the most intense or daunting, but it's actually not, it's pretty easy. The one thing I would recommend is just angle the cutting blade towards the tail light. So if you're coming like I am right here, I'm angling it down towards the tail light. Just ensures that you don't cut anything you don't mean to. After that, it's simple. You just grab your heat gun or blow dryer, whatever you have, um, heat up a four inch segment and then kind of squeegee, push out all the air bubbles and continue on down until you get to the end of the tail light. Now you can remove the excess tint around the tail light and this is really important guys. You need to heat it up one more time and really make sure you press the tint into the sides of the tail light itself. This is really important because the bubbles and the early failure of the tail light tint itself comes from it not adhering to the sides of the tail light. So press it in there, get it to stick well, and then you can uh, remove the painter's tape and we are good to go. I think this looks really good. I've only done the right side. The uh, left side is still um, not done yet. Okay guys, well there you go. I uh, hope you guys learned and appreciated that DIY. 
I think this looks really, really good. It has a nice little smoke to it, and when you hit the lock button, you can kind of see that little outline of the tail light really nicely. So again, just I think it looks fantastic, and I appreciate you guys for stopping by and watching this video. Please don't forget to give this a big old like, subscribe, and leave a positive comment down below. Have a great day, and we will see you next time. Peace.